Whatever year Wyatt Cenac started at The Daily Show, I auditioned. I didn't get it because my audition was god awful. Was it live or tape? No, in person. They sent us a scene, like, you know, one of the reporter. Yeah, the script. In John scenes. Yeah, bit. And <laughs> I always felt like, oh, well, I have a degree in journalism and I am a comedian. I should be working there. Right. But then, you know, it would be another eight years before I got a chance to audition again. You know, yeah. that, the fact that I even got a second audition, we needed a whole new host for my name to even get thrown back in the hat again. And that time I was ready. You know, ESPN, I'd done probably at that point, I'd been on ESPN for about two years on and off. Just w whatever the midday sports argument show was at the time, I would always get invited to be on those shows. And so that kind of helped work the muscle of being the contrarian within a situation where everyone else was thinking one way. Mm -hmm. And as a comedian, you could go the other way with it. So that part of it was pretty cool. And that kind of worked the muscle a little bit. So then when Trevor Noah came in the mix and they started looking for new correspondents, Neil Brennan uh, kind of, you know, threw my name in the hat over there. And so, you know, opportunity meets preparation, as they say. Yeah. Um, and I was able to book it. But that second time around, my comedy was my views of the world were also far more well polished and I was you know well traveled at that point oh seven I hadn't even moved to LA I had just moved to LA and I'd been a road comic in you know in the south and midwest for you know eight nine years and doing morning radio in Birmingham so I didn't have enough perspective of the world and it's just these little things that need to be in your DNA to do that type of to do that type of commentary on television yeah, um, that I didn't have. And also that can't be the first time you're really performing on TV either. You have right. to be comfortable with the camera. Like you already have to have gone through that fire of reading prompter and all of that stuff, which is cool now because you know, the youngins, there's enough technology out there. You can practice all of that. Yeah, yeah. So the audition, the way they audition, at least under Trevor, um, I don't think we did this under John, or at least not when I audition, uh, you perform one piece that they wrote and then you and Trevor together do a piece that you wrote. Mm, yeah. With the idea being, can you bring our to life? And does your merge with that approach and the style of comedy that we want here? Mm -hmm. And so they, they won't tell you no. You just go, this is the piece I want to do. And it's on you to make it funny. Because if it's not funny, you wrote it. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't get the show. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, so yeah. what I try to do now with the show, because there's so many political satire shows out there, there so are. many different shows finding the angle, you need to be able to find the angle that no one else has or mm -hmm. defend the indefensible for comedic reason. Mm. If you can do one of those two things, then you're in a sweet spot. So roll out the barrel and get the band brewing. Life's got you down. Just keep her moving. 